I mean, this is just weird. What's up, y'all? The Oakland A's just let Bob Melvin leave. Bob Melvin has signed a three-year deal with the San Diego Padres. He's one of the best managers in baseball every year, He besides this year. He takes a team of just underpaid guys. Think about Moneyball, who um, he takes them to the playoffs. Like every year, they are a wild card team. Um, they usually struggle in the wild card game. They usually don't get very far in the playoffs. But he gets a team with guys that usually aren't projected to make the playoffs to the playoffs. Now he goes to the San Diego. He's going to have a great team. Guys like Fernando Tatis Jr., Manny Machado, Trent Grisham, Hugh Darvish, Blake Snell, a solid bullpen. Uh, a San Diego team that struggled in the second half last year and missed the playoffs. Bob Melvin can really help with that. Um, so Jace Tingler is out. Was, yeah, Jace Tingler, that was the name of the Padres manager. I almost forgot for a second. Um, yeah, Tingler, not great. Um, he had the thing in 2020 where he got on Tatis about the unwritten rules. And this year, the massive collapse. Uh, Oakland, is this the start of a sell? Is this a bit of an overreaction? Is this the start of them like moving to like Montreal or being moved to Vegas or Portland or something like that? I mean, I mean, I mean, this is not even a trade. They just like let um, San Diego sign their manager away, which is what happens. I mean, in Moneyball, if you guys have seen the movie, they let uh, Jason Jambi go. They let Eastern Housing go. That's like the movie about um Oakland just like in general lets their stars go is this the start of a rebuild do they trade Matt Olson Matt Chapman Sean Mania, Chris Bass they got some really good pieces uh quick video but just weird for Oakland to let their manager go good for San Diego they get a really solid manager I'm out peace